When it comes to cheap shared hosting or best web hosting in general, there are three names that are usually at the top of every list. Bluehost vs Hostinger vs Hostgator. If you worked with them, you know that these providers are very similar, but that doesn't mean that there isn't a winner here. Let's find out which is actually the best in my full Hostinger vs Hostgator vs Bluehost comparison. We're looking at full loading speeds to give you a perspective Everything below 3 seconds for loading time is considered great. So I'm testing all of this on every provider's cheapest plan with the same WordPress and Astra setup. No further optimizations are done even if some providers, like Hostinger for example, offer that. Let's look at the numbers. Full loading time, Hostinger 1.7 seconds, Bluehost 2.1 seconds, and for Hostgator, it's 2.0. I wanted to point out something really important, customizations. Any Hostinger review can tell you that their servers aren't just the fastest, no. It also comes with lightspeed servers and tools. Using these and switching a few options, I managed to lower the same website loading time to 1.2 seconds. So, that's nearly a 20% increase in performance without buying anything or really doing anything that difficult. Before we talk about who's the cheapest provider, I want to remind you that I leave the best discounts and deals for all providers I talk about. You can find these links in the description down below, so don't forget to use them to save up, you know, some cash and help this channel out. Okay, so you get great performance. Now the real deal, money, money, money. Who's the cheapest and who's got the best deal? Well, technically all free hosting providers today can be considered cheap web hosting since you can start hosting a website with them for under $4 a month currently. So that's what, a, a cup of Starbucks coffee? I don't know, if everyone likes comparing prices with coffee. Anyway, if we want to do the calculations and look at all the details, Hostinger is the cheapest of these free providers, for sure. If we buy hosting for the longest period with all providers, with Hostinger, we can get a 4-year plan for under $100, while with Bluehost and Hostgator, we go over the $100 mark for a shorter period of time. If you are planning on working with, say, WordPress, every provider offers this CMS-specific hosting plan. Hostinger WordPress hosting is a really good choice, having slightly different plans and pricing from regular hosting. But I would still recommend sticking with plain shared hosting since even these servers are fully optimized for WordPress. Bluehost is hands down the best WordPress hosting for cheap. I mean, it's even recommended by WordPress creators themselves. Praise be, praise be. Bluehost comes with extra tools and optimizations for WordPress. So if you only work with it, Bluehost is your guy. While Hostgator was just in the middle, it's perfectly fine for WordPress, but just doesn't have all the fancy stuff that Hostinger and Bluehost have to offer. I would like to focus on two aspects though of Hostinger versus Bluehost versus Hostgator feature comparison. How easy are these providers to use for beginners and do they give you any sort of extra features like Bluehost website builder? Straight from the start, every provider is pretty easy to use even for a complete newbie. That's because all of them use their own custom-made solutions to remove any unnecessary clutter and leave only the things that you will actually need. But some of these decisions are a bit, um, how you say, better than others. If I have to pick my winner for the easiest panel, it would be Bluehost. Bluehost WordPress or any other CMS management is a breeze. Really clear design and responsive controls. It just feels good to manage even complex tasks. But I can't leave this out. For some reason, Bluehost also uses cPanel, so you now have two different panel schemes to learn. And it kind of removes some of the magic for me. Oh, and you can find a Bluehost WordPress tutorial or Bluehost review on our channel. That's why, even though Hostinger's dashboard is a bit clunkier and can sometimes bug out, the decision to have every option in one place is just better in the long run. 
You don't need to learn a new control scheme later on and the overall controls make it faster to do some daily tasks while leaving these complex features, you know, down below. Hostinger WordPress setup is really fast, but not the smoothest though. Now, the HostGator control panel and approach are perfectly fine and you know, it, it works, but I, I just don't like it that much. I'm sorry. For some reason, neither HostGator cPanel nor its custom dashboard ever really sticks with me. I never had any major lags or problems here, but the design is a bit just uh, all over the place. Some options are weirdly placed, and I found that jumping between two different windows makes for sluggish editing progress. So, in a fight for the easiest controls, Bluehost wins, while I challenge HostGator's designers to a duel with some old-time pistols. But surprisingly, HostGator wins in the website builder's department. Yeah, for some reason, it offers quite the choice of different approaches to crafting a website. Hostinger sadly doesn't offer any website builder currently. You can get a really cheap builder called Zyro, but this is a separate purchase and doesn't include it in your hosting plan. Bluehost offers you a website builder included with every plan, but it's a WordPress-based builder, and while it's a decent tool, most users use a website builder to avoid all the hassle of the WordPress system. Before we announce the winner, I would really appreciate you pressing like on this video. These take a lot of time to research, film, and edit, so every little thing helps us to stay motivated. You can also check out our channel, you won't believe it, but there are even more awesome videos like this one right here. Well, we determined that Hostinger, Bluehost, and HostGator are actually really good cheap hosting providers. While every single one of them has some weak points and some mediocre things, in general, I haven't found any real red flags, even after all these years working with them. It's just a solid shared hosting. But I said I will have a winner. Well, let's see who it is. Hostinger wins at performance and cheapest prices. If you want to sequence every ounce of speed from your site for cheap, Bluehost wins at being the best hosting for WordPress and having some resource-rich plans. HostGator wins at website building and support extensiveness if you need international help or you want to build a site without WordPress. I really hope you like this video and I'm waiting for your questions and discussions in the comment section down below. Do you have any horror happy stories with any of these providers? If so, don't be shy and leave them below. For everyone else, I'll see you in my next video.